الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيب الله أوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل I advise my brothers and sisters and myself or in fact myself and then my brothers and sisters to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and one of the important sifat or characteristics of the mu'mineen that I wanted to discuss and I constantly try to emphasize and more importantly we need to strive to actualize and that is having good manners husnul khulq and that this is from the sifat of the mu'mineen in an authentic hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam narrated or collected in uh, imam ahmed wa abu daud in sahih jami' قال النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم أكمل المؤمنين إيمانا أحسنهم خلقا The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said The most complete of the mu'mineen In faith, in iman is the breast of them in manners. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we learn a sifa min sifat al We learn a characteristic from amongst the characteristics of the believers. And that characteristic is having good manners. And that shows that good manners are not a sign of weakness. They're not a sign of naqs. But rather, it's a sign of the mu'mineen, it's a sign of strength. It's a sign of uwwah to iman. Someone has strong iman that they're actualizing this sifa min sifat sifat al mu'minin and so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said akmal al mu'minin he said the most complete meaning that if you don't have this characteristic meaning that you are bad in mer- manners then this shows a weakness in your iman and so it's very important for us to understand this because many people have various understandings of this concept. That, for example, you find some people from Ahlul Sunnah that have terrible manners. And we've talked about this countless times. Some of our brothers and sisters are very bad in how they treat one another and very bad in how they treat other believers and very bad in how they treat non-Muslims. And that is the opposite of what a good da'i would do. And that is the opposite of the characteristic of strong iman. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Akmal al-Mu'minin. He said, the most complete of the mu'mins. Meaning that a person can still have bad Khuluk, bad manners, and still be from the mu'mineen. They're still Muslim. And they're still from under the characteristic, or they're still described as mu'mineen. They could still be a mu'min in their strong iman, in other aspects of iman, and, and, and fulfilling the characteristics of ahli iman, in believing on the law, in believing in the pillars of iman. The six pillars of Iman, in which the Prophet والسلام, said, when he was asked by Jibreel, والسلام, 
What is Iman? The Prophet said, In tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa yawm al-akhir wa tu'mina bi qadri khayri wa shar. He said it is to believe in Allah. Wa tu'mina billahi wa malaikati and his angels. Wa kutubihi and his, his, his books. Wa rasulihi and his messengers. Alayhim afdhu salatu wa salam. Wa tu'mina in the day of judgment. And believing in the other, the divine destiny, the good of it and the evil of it, that which goes in accordance with our desires and that which does not go in accordance with our desires, that which is difficult to accept, death, trials, tribulations, sicknesses, war, famine, and that which is in accordance with the things that we love, peace, stability, wealth, prosperity, and those things in this dunya which are, are part of the delights of the dunya. In another hadith, the Prophet said, Ruahu Imam Ahmed and Sahih a jamit, also in Sahih, a jamit. In this authentic hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it also informs us the importance. He says, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Verily, the mu'min reaches a level in his with good manners, reaches a level of uh, of having possessing good manners." To the level of the one who fasts and stands in prayer. Meaning the one who stands in the night prayer. Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it shows us we can never ever belittle the importance of having good manners. And that is something easy for us if we were created that way. But some people are hard-hearted or hard and obstinate or just harsh as people. So for them, they have to struggle to work on those characteristics. And all of us have shortcomings. And all of us need to work on having those good uh, personal hook. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al wa rizq al wa amal al And from that amal al is personal hook. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم